test, test, one, two, test, test. And that still works perfect. Hello, family, faculty, and friends here towards this, this pinning ceremony for the class of 2023. 
at Laramie County Community College's Physical Therapist Assistant Program. My name is Brendan Larson. I'm currently serving as Program Director, and I will be leading this meeting today. Um, with me, we have Dr. King, who is our Clinical Coordinator, as well as in these front rows, we have several members of our Board of Trustees, as well as of the President's Cabinet. If they would please stand, we'd like to welcome them as well. Now, I appreciate everyone who's come here today to celebrate this, this momentous occasion. Um, this is a very, very important day, an important transition for our students today. Um, we've gathered here to celebrate um, and honor these esteemed graduates who have worked very hard over the last two years. Um, and I want to take a moment here to applaud them as well. May they please stand? Now our alumni here have worked very hard over the last two years um, and shown a lot of perseverance. And these pins in which we'll be giving to them are a demonstration of that appreciation for everything that they've achieved so far. Um, we do know and we have a vote of confidence in each of you that you will continue to shine brightly as you enter this career force yourselves as well. And these pins symbolize our faith in you that you will continue to do so. Now I will turn the time to our opening speaker, Dr. Gabby King, our, our clinical coordinator. And I'll give the time to you. Thank you. And thank you guys all for joining us today as we celebrate our graduates. Like Brendan said, my name is Dr. Gabby King, and I've had the honor and the privilege as serving as the interim clinical coordinator and the neurology instructor for this graduating cohort. Neurology and neuromanagement is one of the areas that is not only daunting to face in the clinic as a new graduate, but it's an area that is traditionally difficult to grasp as you work in preparation for your uh, professional board exam. These students were asked to place their trust in me as a new instructor to help guide them in their pursuit of the skills necessary for the hands-on work in the clinic and in the on-paper knowledge required to pass their board exam. This group was welcoming and eager to learn. They were well-prepared and engaged and they creatively and unapologetically committed to creating myotome and dermatome dances, of which we have video proof of, by the way. And they never once complained as I navigated the new to me world of classroom instructing. They excelled during their skills checks and they demonstrated their knowledge by preparing case reports and passing quizzes and exams and more quizzes and exams and even more quizzes and exams. They often asked the hard questions that led to the deep discussions that went beyond the textbook, and they never shied away when those answers were gray or ambiguous. As their clinical coordinator for their final rotation, I had the privilege of observing as they transitioned from student to clinician. They provided quality care to their patients, and I was pleased to watch them as they committed to uphold the integrity of their profession by accepting feedback with the determination to grow. As a clinical instructor myself, I would often regularly ask myself, how would I feel about this student in front of me treating one of my loved ones? Would they deliver evidence-based care? Would they motivate their patient on their bad days? Would they educate them and their family with confidence? And would they comfort them when they are scared or unsure? And today when I reflect on these questions in light of these wonderful graduates sitting before us today, I know that we're in good hands. I know that our friends, our family, and our neighbors are in good hands. I'm confident that these professionals will serve our community well by continuing to ask the hard questions and by showing grace in the pursuit for answers not easily found and by treating their future patients with both clinical skill and compassionate care. Graduates, during these past two years, you've practiced together during, for your skills checks You've studied together for exams, you've supported each other through hardships, and you've celebrated each other's successes. And today, as you step further into your role as a clinician, know that your community of family and friends, of PTs and PTAs and other healthcare professionals, we are so excited to continue to learn with you, to continue to grow with you, and to continue to support you. Thank you again for joining us as we congratulate the class of 2023 
on their hard fought accomplishments they've made thus far, and as we look to their promising careers ahead. At this time, I would love to welcome um, President Joe Schaefer up next. Thank you, Dr. King. I appreciate that. Good afternoon, everyone. So, Gabby, Brendan, congratulations. I will let you in on a little secret. The Physical Therapist Assistant Program is my favorite program at LCCC. <laughs> now, audience, I'll let you out on a little secret. I tell that to every program. So, <laughs> yeah, in all sincerity, um, yeah, one of the things that LCCC is known for is um, the, the, the really prestige of its, its healthcare programs and are one of the, the primary providers of our healthcare workforce. I like to tell folks that, that if you go to a hospital, a clinic, um, uh, an office and, and get to interact with somebody for whatever reason you may be there, there's a good chance that you'll have an LCCC graduate working with you or working on you. And I think that's, that's pretty darn rewarding. So I do wanna recognize the family, friends and loved ones in this room and say thank you for supporting your students. Thank you for helping them find their way to us and more importantly, find their way through us um, as they uh, get pinned today and hopefully graduate and commence tomorrow and enter their programs. I know how important family is. Um, I will tell you that I, I share probably some uh, sentiments with you. I'm married to a nurse and I thought when I got married to a nurse, that was gonna be wonderful, right? She was gonna take care of me and be compassionate and caring. You're laughing because you know what happens with it. You are the Petri dish, the test case. And if you complain too much, you're reminded that there are five-year-olds who are stronger than you are. So. Now, maybe physical therapist assistants are a little bit different, so hopefully you got all that wonderful, compassionate care. Your joints are great, your muscles are great, and you're ready to run marathons. Um, it doesn't happen in my house, unfortunately. So um, uh, with all sincerity, graduates, congratulations on achieving what you've achieved. Um, you really have uh, chosen and will be entering a field that is so incredibly wonderful. In this day and age, there's lots of places you can work. Um, I would say there's few places outside of healthcare that you can work with such meaning and such impact. Um, and at the end of the day, it's wonderful to pay the bills. It's wonderful to have that quality of life. But knowing that you've made people's lives better, that you've done something that's shaping individuals, shaping families and shaping communities, that's gotta be so incredibly rewarding. And so on behalf of the board of trustees and all of us here at LCCC, I wanna give you a heartfelt congratulations and good luck on wherever you go from here. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Schaefer and Dr. King. At this point in our program, we will begin the conferral of the physical therapist assistant pins. Each student has already provided us with the name of someone who they would, they would like to pin them. Our students will come up on this side of the stage, receive their pin from Dr. King, and then the bestowal of the pin will occur here with their family member or friend they have selected. So for those of you who are hoping to take photos, I recommend this side being the best place. And there is no problem in my eyes with a, a quiet, sneaky walk over towards that end to get a better view. I know we have quite a spread here. Um, additionally, each student has also listed a person or persons that they would like to thank. And I will be reading these thank yous as they are receiving their pins. First, we have Alonzo Astorga, and he will be pinned by Twinkle Shotgun Yazi. Alonzo wrote, I would like to thank all the faculty, my peers, close friends, and family. Most of all, I want to thank my mother, Twinkle, for being the best parent I could ask for and not giving up. I also want to congratulate everyone else that has finished the program today and best of luck when you begin a professional journey. <laughs> Next, we have Emily Brinegar. She will be pinned by Kristen and Bill Brinegar. Emily wrote, I want to thank my family, close friends, and God for being here for me throughout this entire last year and a half. I truly could not have done it without your support. To all my classmates, we did it. Congratulations to everyone. You will do great in your future careers. <laughs> Next is Jordan Emmett. Jordan will be pinned by Michelle and Craig Emmett. Jordan wrote, I'd like to thank my family, friends, therapists I've worked with, my classmates, and my professors. I would also like to thank my parent, 
my parents who have been my biggest supporters. <laughs> Dawson Epi. Dawson will be pinned by Greg and Cindy Epi. Dawson wrote, I would like to thank God, my mother Cindy, my father Greg, and my girlfriend Lindsay for pushing me through in every aspect of my life to be a better man and believing in me with everything I do. <laughs> Shay Halls. Shay will be pinned by Brandy and Sean Halls. Shay wrote, I would like to thank my parents and my boyfriend for always pushing me towards my dreams, always believing in me and being supportive and for building me into the person I am today. I'd like to thank all my professors for their hard work and long hours they put into our students, my volleyball coach for, their, for his continued support and long hours of pushing me to be a better athlete and a better adult, and I'd like to thank my PTA classmates for their help, support, kindness, laughter, and good friend, good friendships. Gretchen Heaster. Gretchen will be pinned by William Heaster. Gretchen wrote, during my time in the United States Air Force, I was very fortunate to have several great mentors. I would like to thank Deborah Masurve and Dino Wong for their tremendous support and encouragement, as well as my mom, my sister, my brother, my three beautiful stepdaughters, my husband, and my in-laws for being inspirations to take me to this new beginning. Sarah Henkel will be pinned by Lori Goodart. Sarah wrote, I want to thank all my friends and family that have been in my corner throughout this journey, as well as Gabby King and Brendan Larson. Without all of you, there is no way I would have made it to the end of this program. You've helped me through some of the most stressful times and didn't waver by my side. <laughs> Tylee Johnson. Tylee will be pinned by Jason and Carrie Johnson. Tylee wrote, congratulations to everyone. It's been a long journey and we finally made it. Special thank you to everyone who helped me complete my assignments. I would seriously have not made it without you. I will definitely miss you all. And thank you to my family and Baileys for supporting me. <laughs> Stacy Moeller. Stacy will be pinned by Britt Moeller. Stacy wrote, I would like to thank my parents, Gary and Linda Sorensen, and my mother-in-law, Linda Moeller, and father-in-law, Don Moeller, for supporting me through all the ups and downs during the PTA course. I'd like to thank my husband for putting up with me and letting me practice on him, quizzing me on all the exams. <laughs> Kimberly Rogers. Kimberly will be pinned by Sharon and Tom Rogers. Kimberly wrote, I would like to thank all my family members for supporting me through college and this journey. Everything you have done has helped me and has not gone unnoticed, and I truly appreciate everything done to get me where I am today. <laughs> Renata Shepard. Renata will be pinned by Angel, Sh Angel Shepard. She wrote, I would like to thank my mother for her support throughout the program, as she was the person I was able to call and talk to when I was having a rough time, especially after skills checks. I would like to thank my classmates for being amazing and helping me through the program. <laughs> Riley Stewart. Riley will be pinned by Rich Stewart. Riley wrote, I would like to thank my family for supporting me and encouraging me throughout my college career. They couldn't be here today, but I want to say thank you to my friends. They've always held my back and always will, and to Hannah for standing by my side. <laughs> Mariah Vos. Mariah will be pinned by Brian and Deb Vos. Mariah wrote, I would like to thank my family for letting me practice my new skills on them and for their encouragement throughout this academic journey. And for my classmates for the laughs while we all learn together and for my professors when answering questions and providing support. <laughs> Nicole Wallace, Nicole will be pinned by Michael Wallace. 
Nicole wrote, I would like to thank my husband for always supporting me in every step of the way. I'd also like to thank my parents for always having my back and convincing me I can do whatever I want in life. I also want to congratulate everyone in the class for making it. I'm so happy we were able to be together in this experience. And Grace Miller, is Grace Miller here? Okay, Grace is not able to be with us today. Um, she, however, has been a wonderful classmate and member and, and we've appreciated her very openness and wonderful jokes and willingness to share with us while here. Now at the conclusion of this pinning, I will be the final speaker and I want to take a moment and really congratulate this class of 2023. Um, I'm honored to be here with you. I'm honored to be counted among the 100 persons that are in this room um, celebrating and, and supporting you, both as you finish this first journey and begin a longer lifelong journey. It's been said that if you want to go fast, go alone, and if you want to go far, go together. And I know how much collaboration was, was performed by our students in this program. I'm incredibly proud of how well and how quickly each of you came together. Um, Beyond your small number of students, recognize how many are in here and how large your group and your team will grow throughout this career. Um, these people who have already been your support, your soundboards, your practice patients, and your shoulders to cry on, our loved ones and, support and supportive ones who will be with you today and long after. And I want to appreciate each of them for helping shape you, these students and graduates, into who you are and who you've become. Class of 2023, this room represents 100 loved ones who, who will continue to support you in this next chapter of your life. You'll bring new challenges, new patients, new clinicians and coworkers. And I wanna remember the, the analogy of one of our guest lecturers who said that physical therapy school can be grueling, it can be demanding with clinical schedules, but most of all, it's like drinking water from a fire hose. And I want to say that after this experience you've been through, I truly believe each of you are ready to begin your career and to take on the world of physical therapy. One of my favorite quotes in education um, is that teaching or education is not the kin should be the kindling of a flame and not the filling of a vessel. Each of you are beginning this long journey and you have the knowledge to make a difference in patients' lives. But if you continue to apply yourself the same way that I've seen you do and continue to support one another throughout your career, your tenacity and resilience will continue to help you grow and expand the number of patients and professionals and other persons and who you can help. And I truly believe that you are a wonderful group who have proven over the last few years that you will make a large difference in our communities here. So go out there, use the power that you have for good and congratulations, best of luck in your future endeavors. Now I want to thank everyone who was able to come and join us. I'm going to turn the time to our student physical therapist assistant club president, Alonzo, who will introduce the reception for us. All right, so definitely a little shorter than I expected, so I'll kind of lean into it. So first and foremost, just thank you everybody from coming. I know it's been quite a journey for not just us getting through this educational experience together, but for all the families whether you're coming from Missouri, from Oregon, or from wherever it may have been that you, you guys come, thank you truly for coming and enjoying this experience with us. Um, and one more congratulation to all of us that have gone through this together. I know it wasn't what we were expecting. We had a change of the head in the program as well, which was a pretty cool thing to navigate because we did get somebody in that's fantastic, Miss uh, Dr. King over here. And she truly is one of a kind. Give her a round of applause. And then, of course, just one more round of applause for Professor Larson. Without him and his stick to and as by the book as he can be, we would not have been able to get through this as well and be able to be professional in our professional settings that we're going to get into. One more round of applause for him. And then uh, just thank you to everybody, you know, from the board and, of course, all the staff that we have here from, you know, of course, our bookstore employees to, you know, the exam lab where we took our lab, um, where our exams at, 
And then, of course, librarians, whoever may have been that have been out there that have helped us, coaches, you know, as well. And then just, of course, all the support systems. Like I said, we would not have been able to do this without all of you. You know, I know my mom is near and dear to my heart. You know, I thank her for um, getting through her cancer treatments and being able to join me today. And I thank, of course, all of our mom and dads that we have here with us, brothers, sisters, significant others, boyfriends, girlfriends, fiancés. Uh, just truly thank each and every one of you guys for coming. And let's just enjoy a little more time together before we all start to get heading uh, out of this place, because I know some of us are going to be going back and getting ready to celebrate and whatnot. Congratulations to everybody, and I wish the best of luck to you guys in all of our professional endeavors. And I look forward to hunting you guys down in the job field and trying to work with each and every one of you. That's going to be a goal of mine. All right. And now we'll just go and uh, very orderly, like some cattle, we'll go and head out of that exit and we'll go into the other room and we'll go and enjoy a slideshow put together by us as well while we get into that reception room. Thank you. I'm going to grab my computer, so. Okay. Congratulations. Oh, thank you.